I'm Amitra Balachandra. You're watching the 6.30 p.m. show where we attempt to have cool conversations. Today is a super cool conversation with a super cool guest. I have with me a woman who is full of grit and determination. She's ready to take on the world because she's just won 18 gold medals in the history of National Law School of India. I have with me Yamuna Menon, who is a 24-year-old who's won those 18 gold medals. Yamuna, thank you so much for making time. I know you've been in and out of calls, messages. We've been trying to get you on the show for a while now. So thank you so much for making time. First of all, has it sunk in? Uh, thank you, Amita, for inviting me. And thank you for such a kind introduction. Yes, as you said, the past few days have been really hectic. And it was quite like I didn't expect such a kind of response from people across the nation for, you know, uh, the achievement that I just had. Actually, the fact that it's an achievement and that it's kind of huge has still, I still haven't understood it because I just studied for the course that I enrolled for to the best of my abilities. And I was fortunate to become a topper and get the gold medals. But I never have understood the impact or the, the achievement to the scale it is being portrayed. So quite surprising and unexpected and feels, feels very ecstatic at the moment. Well, I'm sure your parents also must be really thrilled. What did they tell you the moment they got to know? Also, you had a digital convocation this time. So how was that experience? Well, like while I was in law school, every year we get to see the convocation with lots of seniors involved. And it's definitely a grand one where people, families, everyone come. And it's a grand occasion. Uh, but due to COVID, we weren't able to have that. And the college arranged a digital convocation. So, uh, so the impact or having getting those medals or degrees in presence of everyone was a kind of a different feeling over here. We were able to uh, see our vice chancellor speak and give us the degrees as well as the medals. Uh, so we were looking at the screen and we were seeing go, uh, my, the list of medals go up. Uh, but at that particular time as well, I didn't know that this was a record and a history was being created. It's only later that I realized. So even though I knew I would be the topper, I never knew that this would give me so many gold medals. So definitely my parents are happy and they are also getting calls from everyone. They are also busy taking calls, replying to messages. Definitely a happy moment for the family. Tell us what made you uh, take up law in the first place. I was reading somewhere that it was the courtroom stories you said that actually uh, made you take up law. If you can help us uh, with some of those stories, if you can. Definitely. So uh, while I was in my 10th uh, standard, uh, I had finished my exams by then and uh, during my summer vacations. Uh, I, w I had gone to help an elderly person who had uh, returned from the Supreme Court of India and he's a senior advocate and he wanted to bring out a poetry book. And I had simply gone there as a kid to help him with some computer work because that was my vacation time. And then he used to tell us stories about how arguments happen in Supreme Court and in the courtroom. And he also spoke about his friends uh, whom I didn't understand at that particular time. But then later I realized that they are very famous lawyers in India. And so now I realize the uh, significance that it must have caused to me as a teenager. So for instance, he would talk about the different kinds of clients that would come to him. So for instance, companies might come, even government agencies will come, people whose fundamental rights have been impacted would come. So when he talked about those experiences, I was, I was thinking law for law or, or as a lawyer, you are going to deal with people from all walks of life and it's affecting everyone, even for a construction of a building or for laying off roads, you need a law. So th that's the diverse nature of law is what attracted me to it most. But at that particular point, as a 15 year old, I still took up science as my 11th and 12th standard subjects because I needed more clarity before joining them. And uh, once you decided to take it up, you had to give your clat. If you can tell us, was it your first attempt or second attempt that, you know, got you through uh, to National Law School? 
my second attempt that uh, helped me get into uh, national law school bangalore my first attempt uh, i couldn't get into national law school and my rank was also not that great to get a good university uh, so then i decided that i had to make a choice because i also had an engineering admission uh, not in a very reputed uh, institution but i did have uh, a seat to start my studies however i realized that law would be for me one because of the stories that i heard and i had a fascination for it plus i also understood that i will be able to you know study the courses because i did my own research about national law school and understood the kinds of opportunities that it uh, allows a student to access so uh, those attracted me and then i decided okay let me try once again and i was able to convince my family to take that risk and i'm happy that i did and uh, maybe because i didn't have any other alternative and there was much more pressure on me that i had to get into law school maybe that focus increased and i was able to put in more hard work which helped me get into law school so how do you deal with all the pressure and if you can tell us how did you build uh, that kind of confidence because it's a really important lesson there that you didn't give up after the first time uh i mean once i had decided that i wanted to do law and uh, i don't know it was some extraordinary courage at that particular time i when i look back i don't understand how i, I was able to decide it maybe because i really wanted that particular area or career and it was that that desire that helped me take that decision but once that decision was made i i was able to understand or i comprehended that there is no other way because one year has been taken for just to prepare for this exam and i had to do it but at the end of the day the your admission is decided by an exam of 2 hours or 3 hours and how you perform on that final day so definitely lots of other factors also come into play but what i how i managed it was i will try my best and hope that the best will happen i think that kind of attitude helped me balance the pressure as well and did you also get enough support uh, from home because that's extremely important as well yeah so uh, they were also quite uh, hesitant in the beginning because taking one year gap was a difficult uh, decision to make but once i explained to them why i was doing it and why i wanted to do it they were also convinced and after once uh, the it was a family decision basically i discussed it with them and then the support also continued yes continued. let's cut to uh, national law school uh, of india if you can tell us uh, the kind of uh, course uh, that you took there uh, the kind of internships uh, that you did because internships are extremely important to help you mold yourself to figure out what you're going to do so if yes. you can take us through that journey as well yes definitely so in law school uh, the internships aren't mandatory for the first two years of your study it becomes mandatory from your third year and certain guidelines are also given for it so uh, what happens is once you get into law school you get opportunities to try out different areas where lawyers are involved so for instance in my first year uh, i wanted to come back home during my vacations so i did uh, an internship with an ngo uh, and that was a different kind of experience that i needed as a first year to understand how ngos work what kind of work goes there second year i tried my internship with uh, a trial court lawyer and i absolutely loved it because i got to see ex cross examination being done i also got to see uh, different kinds of um, uh, arguments being presented so uh, those are those are definitely good opportunities for students like me and then by third year you also get guidance so since i had a scholarship uh, from uh, the university in association with the ngo called idia uh, i also so got a mentor appointed by the third year a professional mentor who definitely helped me uh, and guided me throughout uh, about different kinds of options that a law student will have so for instance i was able to discuss uh, the importance of being having experience with a company and then having experience with law firms having experience with a uh, courts at different levels that is high court and supreme court so those were uh, those are different kinds of internships that a law student can try out to understand 
what he or she is more attracted to or what what is more uh, beneficial for them because if you like a job you will be able to do that to the best right and internships are a way of understanding which suits you the most so i think those uh, vacations are uh, something that every law student can use to uh, do different kinds of internships to understand their area of interest and a little bit of research on the kinds of internships that a student can do that is uh, it's not just these ngos there are internships that law, indian law students can do at international level so if students can research on that as well there are opportunities at an international level too and and what was your reaction the moment you sort of uh, read through the statement the official statement and i have that official statement with me if i can uh, read that out uh, for our viewers as well it says 48 gold medals were awarded to graduates from different academic programs as recognition of their achievements miss yamuna menon who graduated uh, with a ba llb honors degree received a total of 18 medals the highest number of medals received by any student in the history of the university that must been uh, have been a huge moment um actually i saw this report quite late uh i didn't see it first then i started getting messages and calls and i realized uh that it's a record uh so when i read this and when i saw the report and that too when your institution is putting up such a statement it definitely feels very good and uh, honestly the the work or the efforts throughout the five years it's been uh, when you see that being rewarded it it was definitely a very happy moment so where do you draw your inspiration uh, from who inspires you a uh, inspiration definitely the the lawyer who inspired me as a teenager mr ex joseph uh, and then i was also inspired by professor madhav menon for starting such uh, revolutionizing legal education and bringing out national law universities which bring out a lot of opportunities for law students across the nation and i was fortunate to meet him uh, during my time in law school as well and professor shamnath bashir is another one who is not with us today but he has created an impact uh, 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 on people around him and moreover the energy that he carried uh, that just that he just gives it out like the moment you talk to him you you are also energized and uh, any mail or when you talk to him he uses the word terrific and that just stays in my head always so these are uh, people who have inspired me and you are terrific yamuna let me tell you that but uh, if you can also tell me uh, you're all set to do your masters right now help us understand how you chose uh, the college that you chose uh, and what happens from here i just applied to two universities which is the university of oxford and university of cambridge because they are the famous ones in uk which is from a common law background so i wanted to stay with the common law background and not apply to us so i never applied to us universities and i chose these universities after doing a bit of my research regarding the masters course uh because once i decided that i wanted to do an llm right after my graduation from law school i looked at which which colleges or which universities are well known for their masters course in law and that's how i decided the two two universities so where do you see yourself in the next i'm going to like sort of put you in the spot right now and ask you where do you see yourself in the next 5 to 10 years is that too soon to ask you or right now you're just focusing on your um, masters what is the kind of change that you want to see uh i don't want to uh, keep myself focused on okay i will just do this because i know cambridge also also going to throw up lots of opportunities and i want to try out different things and explore different kinds of opportunities that trinity will be giving me but definitely i do have an interest to work with international organizations and their sustainable development goals and get the required skill set and understand how i can help that in nation building here especially with respect to the role of corporates in uh, responsible economic development in an uh, developing nation like india so that's something that i am interested in but definitely to get uh, uh, such work experience in international organization i have to have additional work experience in the beginning so i'll be looking at uh, law firms uh, or even companies or practicing so i'll get diverse work experience first before looking at those options
Wow, that's really, really cool. I must tell you, Yamuna. And and before I let you go, if you can also tell us, uh, give us some uh, advice that you would like to give to younger people who are right now sitting on the fence, perhaps, or not not sure who have to deal with exam pressure, who are probably like, oh my God, am I going to make it? What's your advice to them? I mean, uh, it's a, it's a pressure that everyone goes through. I think as a teenager, because the exams and the society has become so competitive that unless you get particular degrees or professional degrees, it's considered that. Uh, I mean, it becomes difficult on the children or the kids because I have definitely faced it. So, what I would say is, um, have a name, uh, understand what you want to do. and just try for that i don't think you have to work and become like anyone you are unique mm-hmm. so so just be yourself and do what you like everyone as a human will definitely have pressure when they when people keep certain expectations from you but for for you to fulfill those expectations it's important from your side to keep that pressure away from through your conscious efforts and that is possible only by putting in honest efforts and hard work okay so work hard there will be pressure but keep that work aside hard. and focus on it focus on other things yamuna thank you so much for giving us time i know you're an extremely busy person but uh, congratulations and we wish you all the best Thank you so much Amita thank you nice talking to you